Hello Internet, it's I, Gonzo, back yet again for originality and commentating over Call of Duty. Woo! Anyway, uh, using L118 on lockdown, I managed to snippety snipe and uh, actually do good. Generally, don't like S&D because it's a lot more slow paced, you have to think a lot more, and I like don't I don't like thinking. Thinking is not my thing. But yeah, I like running around, which S and D is a little harder to do and you can do it if you're really good at it. I just I'm not. But it's a it's a fun game type. Especially for sniping when you're the last one alive and everyone's watching you, you feel like a little Oh, I don't even know, but it's it's exhilarating. S and D definitely gets my blood pumping. It's it's the only game type that really once you're the last person alive and there's three people left or you have six people left. It's it's entertaining. I really like it. Don't like the map though. The map's very gray, like every other map in Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Anyway, but stop playing Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3. Playing a lot more Black Ops. Just I like Black Ops. I can't I like it much more. No. Just the feel of it. I wish the hit detection was a little better. But yeah, other than that, Black Ops. Shit. And I knew that guy, because generally people that use javelins and SMDs always have a, a route that they go. They always go to the same place. So the next round, I predict him, him going there and throwing knife him. But that's that's a good tip for if you ever hear javelins in games. If you can find out where the guy's going, you can generally pick him off with a sniper or a long-range weapon. Um, having difficulties recording... Uh, like new content. This is all old stuff that I recorded a long time ago. But apparently, uh, Sony Vegas doesn't like M at M2 TS files or whatever. Some random file. They don't like that. So, I'm trying to fix that and get more stuff up, hopefully. I'd like to thank Ryan. Oh, wait. Actually, I'll. So, I try to, try to be an awesome quick scoper man and end up failing. It's a great fail. <laughs> But anyway, I'd like to thank Ryan and Thomas for being my first two subscribers. Yeah. I haven't actually subscribed to myself, because I have two YouTube channels. I have, like, the one I upload on and the one I have to, like, subscribe to everyone. However, I think I'm probably just going to subscribe to everyone on the one I upload now. I don't know. I, I have two YouTube things. And I feel weird, like, if I subscribe to myself. I just, I think that's kind of, like, cheating in a way. I don't know. I have I have weird guilt and like I have a conscience in video games. Let's see, yeah, I come up here and throwing knife at the guy. But I have a conscience, like I don't like to use assassin, I don't like to use like all these perks that I don't like to get killed with. I don't I think it's cause I don't want like if I kill someone with assassin on, I don't want someone to be like, he used assassin. That's the reason he killed me. I want them to be like, damn, that guy is so awesome that he just wrecked my dick with his quick draw. Actually, I, I kind of, I don't like quick draw and uh, sleight of hand. I get so used to them, like with them on, that it, it ends up, it bites me in the ass. I don't know what I was doing there also, but um, it bites me in the ass. Also, I kill five people in this round, and I'm not sure if there was five or six people in this game, but... I think I kill everyone on the team if there's five people on the team. But yeah, I don't like. I get in the habit of having sleight of hand or like recon or, or not recon, quick draw. And so, whenever, like now, I use recon a lot more just because I wanted to get off that sleight of hand, uh, I don't even know, like addiction. Because I feel, I feel like slower without it. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird. I also don't like how flash grenades and stun grenades have the same throw time in this game because flash grenades are really powerful and hit everything oh this is cool I hear him kill my teammate so I go back and try to be cheeky and get a sweet no scope but anyway um, I don't like how stuns and flashes have the same throw time just because I feel like stuns are a lot or flashes are a lot power more powerful so they need a longer like prime time priming time I don't know I, I use stuns in mo almost all Call of Duties just because they had a shorter throw time, but now I use flashes, 
and flashes are great with recon. I love recon. I actually use recon on almost every class. It's kind of a terrible, terrible thing. It's almost as bad as sit rep to try to get the like pro version of it. But once you get recon pro, or well, you actually you don't even need recon pro, but it helps so much. I use uh, recon on shotguns a lot in hardline, just because it allows for me to shoot them, run away, because a lot of the time I'm way too far away to actually like get a kill with a shotgun. So a lot of the time I just shoot them with a shotgun in order to like mark them on the map for everyone else to kill. And hardline and recon just go perfectly together, just because you mark them on the map, run away, and someone else kills them, and you do that one more time and you get a kill for it. I don't know. My opinion. But yeah. I'm a, I'm a sweet I'm a sweet sniper in this. I actually uh died. Here. That's this is the last round. Uh thank you for watching. Um rate, comment, subscribe, dislike, like, favorite, everything good. Um yeah, thank you for watching and uh hope you have a good night.